In the fall of 2023, the Arizona Diamondbacks made a compelling run and swept the Valley with excitement when they made it to the World Series. For the novice baseball fan, breaking down all the statistics can be a daunting task. Baseball statistics complete the key to unlocking strategy and are deeply integrated into the fabric of America's pastime. From the days of Babe Ruth to his modern example, Shohei Otani, uh, legends can be built on the back of statistics. From home runs that wow the fans to strategic analysis that become the manager's best friend. Statistics are the heartbeat of the game. We can spend an entire college semester exploring baseball statistics, but I'd like to take the next five or seven minutes explaining some of the more basic stats. So the next time your team makes it to the championship, you can not only feel like a fan, but an expert. Let's get started. Batting average plus OBP, or on-base percentage. Batting average can simply be described as the number of base hits divided by at-bats. Although it's very important to know the difference between an at-bat and a plate appearance. A plate appearance is every time a batter walks up to the plate. While an at-bat is every time a batter walks up to a plate, excluding hit by pitch, Base on balls, sack bunt, or sack fly. Sack bunts and sack flies are simply when you pop up or bunt to advance around to the next base. OBP is the times on base divided by plate appearances. Slugging percentage plus OPS. Slugging percentage can be one of the more confusing uh, based, uh, hitting statistics, but once you break it down, it's not so hard. Slugging percentage is designed to express how many bases a hitter is getting per at bat. So, it's on a 4.0 scale rather than a 1.0 scale. So, if a hitter hits a home run as their only at bat, their slugging percentage would be 4.000. And if they hit a single for their only at bat, it would be 1.000. To get slugging percentage, you add the total amount of bases and divide it by at bats. For example, if you get a triple, double, and a single, you would add 3, 2, and 1, and divide them all by 3, so your slugging percentage would be 2. OPS is simply just OP, OBP plus slugging percentage, OPS. Fun fact, the highest OPS, the highest career OPS of all time is held by Babe Ruth at 1.164. Now we get into pitching stats. ERA, or earned run average. Pitching stats can be some of the more confusing things, but once you get to know them, it's simply not that hard. ERA is the number of runs a pitcher would let up in nine innings. For example, if a pitcher lets up two, if a pitcher lets up two runs in three innings, their ERA is six. The best single season ERA of all time is held by Tim Keefe at zero point eight six. WHIP, which stands for walks plus hits per inning pitched. WHIP is meant to calculate the number of base runners a pitcher is letting on per inning. Therefore, the lower the WHIP, the better the pitcher. For example, if a pitcher walks one batter and gives up two hits, the pitcher's WHIP is three. Although a very good WHIP for the MLB would be about one. The best WHIP of 2023 was held by Garrett Cole at 0.98. Now for the last, but most confusing stat of them all, war. War is one of the most confusing stats because it's very hard to understand. It is an estimated number of wins a player contributes to their uh, potential replacement. For example, if a player has a 2.6 war, they're worth 2.6 more wins than the average replacement player. Fun fact, the highest war of all time is held by Babe Ruth at 183 which means according to his war, he's 183 more wins than the average replacement player. In conclusion, there are many confusing stats to baseball, but once you get to know them, they aren't so intimidating. Today we reviewed hitting stats such as OBP, batting average, OPS, and slugging percentage. In addition, we reviewed, we reviewed some confusing pitching stats such as whip and ERA. Finally, the most important stat of them all, war, which ultimately determines how important a player is for a team. So hopefully, 
The next time you sit down and decide to watch baseball and you see Shohei Otani walk a batter, you can turn to your friend and say, well, that's not going to help us win. Thank you for listening.